Hey there YouTube, it is Tuesday the 20th of September 2011 and this is Alternate World News. I want to bring an article to your attention that's been doing the rounds for a few days now. You may have seen it about, it's been featured in various newspapers including The Independent, Guardian, Telegraph, BBC News and today even in Fox. I'll, uh, I'll put the links in the section below and you can check out the articles for yourself. The story basically outlines a new proposal to combat the environmental 9-11, as some call it, global warming. To do this, they intend to inflate 20 helium balloons, each a whopping 660 foot in size. These are then tethered to, uh, to ships, raised to the height of 12 miles, then using some kind of pressurized water system connected by a hose, they'll pump up to a, a million tons of particles into the atmosphere. These particles then serve to reflect light away from the earth and supposedly turn down the temperature. One thing that the articles have in common is that they all seem to skirt around the facts of the exact ingredients of the chemical concoctions they intend to release in the air. Whereas, if we look at an article from ARS Technica from 2010, we say exactly what kind of particles such geoengineering experiments involve. Aluminium, barium tritate, and that's just a name but two. Guys, what we've got to remember here is, what goes up must come down. Now granted, this particular balloon theory may be in its early stages, and may not even go ahead. What they don't tell you is that the practice of dispensing these chemicals and nanoparticles in the atmosphere is already in full swing. Yes, chemtrails. Still featuring on the Wikipedia page as an American conspiracy for crazies, chemtrails are in fact alive and well and appearing in a sky near you. These pictures are just from my personal collection, but I can assure you that this practice is widespread across the UK and many other countries. To write off scenes such as this as a normal dissipating contrail, now that seems crazy to me. Surely anyone with an ounce of intelligence can see that something just isn't right. So like I said, what goes up must come down, and as this metallic sheen in the sky falls to the ground, the aluminium nanoparticles cover everything in their path. Due to being highly combustible, a coating of this substance can increase the likelihood or the veracity of forest fires, scrubland fires, etc. Being metallic, particles like this will oxidize on the ground, and in time this will cause the pH of the soil to rise. That will result in an unsuitable environment for future growth. This is all before we even look at the potential effects on the population that's unwittingly breathing in these uh, hazardous materials. With the rapid increases lately in diseases such as Mugellans, Alzheimer's, thyroid problems and other autoimmune diseases, it's safe to assume that some kind of agenda is already playing out as intended. And it wouldn't be the first time that the powers that be have done such shady experiments. Back in April 2002, The Guardian reported on the 39-year campaign of the government's tests, spraying large numbers of people with a range of bacteria, germs and chemicals. Look, I'm not trying to spread any fear here, just a little awareness. And I admit, I can't stop this, but maybe we can. Please share this information, spread the word. This has been Alternate World News. Thanks for listening, much love and take care.